I'm going to throw this shit on YouTube. Why not? Let's just chuck it on YouTube for you guys if it will help. But um, I'll just go over the sections really, really fast um, for how you would do this. So the first thing you're going to do is get that little groove, which you're going to be... So he plays half step down, drop D. Um, but I've tuned it, so I just use capo. If I'm if you're using standard tuning, just go drop, G, drop D, capo one. That's where you do it. And then you're going to go on the uh, fourth fret and sixth fret. So fourth fret on the B string, sixth fret on the E string, and I'll be... And once you get that, you're good. Now the whole song is in the key of E flat. Like E flat minor, if you want to like use that as a reference. So that's 11th fret. So he's just using minor pentatonic right there. And then obviously once you get to this part, you're gonna to wanna to get a groove. down and then he does it and now when you're going to come back into this so when you're playing in with the one capo you're basically going to play a d chord right that is like the D-shaped chord, even though we're in the key of E-flat. When you have a capo on, from now on, I'm going to be referencing the chord shapes here. That's your chord right there. And so he goes... So you're just gonna be pretty much open, open on everything, and then you're gonna be on the fourth fret on the top three strings on your E, A, and D string. And then you're gonna be on the sixth fret. And then you're gonna be playing a power chord over here on the first fret, third fret, third fret, going from the A, D, and uh, G string, and then up to the third fret. And if you're trying to get that fill that he does, it's that fourth fret. It's like a rock and roll thing. That's very, very cool. So it's like a bluesy thing. So yeah. We so you get that out. And then once you get that, he has that you need me, man, I don't. You need me, man. I don't need you. He does that. Uh huh, uh huh. And so we're gonna get that part. So we're gonna go to our little harmony thing. Uh huh, uh huh. Uh huh, uh huh. Me, I don't. Uh huh. You need me. Uh huh, uh huh. You need me, man. I don't need. You need me, man. I don't need. You need me, man. I don't. You need, you need, you need. I keep hearing the. And then once you get that part done, um, what was the last part of it? Was that it? Dylan, am I good? That's the last part of the main. Oh, yeah. And then so once you've got that, then he brings in the, the kick thing. So basically with that one, all you're going to do is you're just going to go one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. That's how you're gonna do that that loop. So you can see how I did that. You could copy him and just like, he just kind of like moves up the. And 
And he's just like literally filling it, and then he just does the the sixteenth uh, note thing as well. So be like. Once you get to that point, is you're going to be coming back to the, back to that D chord, and then he can so say you go. My eyes are red, they've been burning. Move some progression. My eyes are red, they've been burning. Eyes are red, da, 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 da. And then you get through that whole section, and then you groove an hour, da, 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 da. and then you want to clear your loop. Or whatever here does that. So basically, it's playing the. So now we're doing like a bar chord shape. So he's doing an E minor, B flat minor, and then he's dropping down to his uh, his C flat major, and then his D flat major. So it's pretty cool. I'm just gonna loop that. And then you're gonna get the groove. everything twice to get the double track and then he comes in
And that's how it goes. And that is, I think that's it. Are we good, Dylan? We good with that? I think we've, we've figured it out. Whew. That was much longer than I thought it was going to take.